be going live now. Okay, okay. okay. I'll mute. We are live. Good morning, everybody. We have... I knew we wouldn't have as many because it's an earlier time in Europe. I mean, um, the people out in the west part of the United States, it's only like 6 in the morning right now. So I doubt if they'll be with us this morning. <laughs> well, that's okay. Usually it's... Okay. So, oh, here we got some more people. Who, who just yes, it would give the people from the east more more more, more uh, uh, ways to get in. Yeah, <laughs> it'll give more people. Yes, the west coast will probably won't be there. So yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but those people that are in Europe, they're six hours, seven hours ahead of us. So exactly, yeah. so they should be joining mm, so us good. soon. That's so Mm, so that's very good. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So uh, Max will be back in a second, but Max is not staying all day today. Um, he's going camping with his family, but we're just um, going to uh, start, and then when he has to go, he's going to go, and we'll continue as long as it's uh, appropriate or being mm -hmm. good. So. so we are live now, though. Yes. <clears throat> oh, and this is Sandy. Hi, everybody. Hi, Sandy. And we have Janice, right? Yeah. Hello, Janice. And we have Doris. Good morning. Hello, Good morning. Doris. Good morning. And uh, perhaps a couple more are coming at 10 o'clock. We don't know. Oh, okay. okay. <clears throat> so it's uh, we have three people with us here today. Lovely. Three guests in the room. <clears throat> <clears throat> and Hello, I you know that. <laughs> so anyway, go ahead. I'm just checking the microphone. No, I'm still sitting on the microphone. Hello, my microphone's working right. Yes, it's just yes, fine. It's just fine. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put my coffee down. They say I shouldn't drink coffee, but I love coffee. I'm sort of addicted to coffee. <laughs> yeah, so, <clears throat> so I I cut down little by little. Maybe well, someday I won't drink it anymore. I figure coffee is my friend. Yeah. <laughs> coffee is my friend too, but they say I shouldn't have too much caffeine. So. There's some sort of a healthy <clears throat> coffee this guy's going to introduce me to. It's some kind of a network marketing, but I want to try it. If oh, good. A, a healthy, healthy coffee? coffee has good I, stuff in it. Is that the one with the mushrooms in it? I don't know. I haven't gotten any details yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Just keep in mind that mushrooms are a fungus. fungus oh, I love, I love mushrooms. But when it gets in the body, there's some... Um, Oh, really? oh, I like. It it has. Let's see. We'll check it out and see what it has in it. Oh. Yeah, but if it's, does it matter if it's raw or cooked or what? Oh, really? Because I've read that if it's cooked a little bit. The mushrooms are easier Ethan, to digest. Yes. Ethan did a lot of work with that and found that mm -hmm. it did not keep a lot of um, fungus and sponge cells. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I love I love yeah, mushrooms. Yeah, I, <laughs> I love them sauteed in butter or on pizza or whatever. So Doris, uh, they can't hear you. So oh, Doris sorry. says that uh, mushrooms are hard to get out. That you know whatever substance they get get in, it's hard to get out because it's fungus and fungus might hurt. I heard the mushrooms work against cancer, but yeah, yes. too. Yeah, yeah I, I'm not. And then once you, eat, no once, you once you eat them, they stay in the body. It's very hard for the body to rid them. So right. Dory okay. says that once you eat it, it's hard to get out of the body, right? Yeah. Right. You could probably muscle test yourself to see if it's muscle test that. yourself. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So start us off. We invite. Uh, hello. Today is what <clears throat> uh, Saturday, <clears throat> July nineteenth. Welcome everybody. Um. We have, what do we have? Um, you were introduced, the people in the room are introduced. 777, yes. 777. Seven, seven. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello, Hello, Jim. Hey, Hello. John. Hello, Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Hey, Pegasus, Nitrous Pegasus. Hello. You're muted or you're 
No, he is not muted. He's just away from microphone. Or his okay. microphone doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Vegas says we can't hear you. Your microphone doesn't work. But I will mute you just in case. If you need to say something, unmute yourself. Hey, Sarah, you already said hi. Yes, yes. Hey, Hello. Sarah, how are you? Hey, Slava. And Hello. With, um, with the Chinese. A I don't know hey, guys. Yeah, this is Ben. Hi. Yeah. hi, how are you? Right. Welcome. Uh, so Thank you. If you want to form a line for questions, form it and then just announce yourself because I can't hear, can't read from from the screen from here. So, yeah, it's a little hard to see but, from here. But it, I mean, it makes sense to form a line for questions if there is one. Okay. Uh, uh, to invite. Uh, <clears throat> as usual, or you know, if somebody comes with important question, with important messages. Positive messages. They're welcome. Uh, John Lennon is always welcome. <laughs> Jesus is always invited. Um, our usual invitation is for humans out there, uh, Douglas, James, and others from the colonies, <coughs> invited. Um, hybrids. Mm -hmm. We really want to speak about hybrid culture, hybrids out there. Hybrids coming down here. Hybrids from out there coming down here. So hybrids are invited. Um, yes, we would yes, also, we also like uh, uh, the cash or the tech care. Yes, we love the cash. We invite Lakesh and Takaro friends, and people already have questions for them, and they're missing mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. And I have a tiny question on molecular biology, on molecules of memory and brain. Uh, I just had a nice hypothesis, and I wanted to run it by anyone out, out there. That's mm -hmm. an interesting thing. Okay. Uh, one of the topics, I guess, is on everybody's mind is that airplane, which was shut down, it's a negative thing, obviously. And when I got that news, Someone told me physically, someone physical told me, but I was in the meditation. Okay, it wasn't a miracle, it was just someone mm -hmm. from my family come and say, have you heard that? And they just walked me out from my meditation. And I went back to my meditation. And the answer was there that it was <coughs> false flag attack, basically. Ukrainians mm -hmm. have nothing to do with that. It is someone from military industrial complex fighting someone else from military industrial complex, just two parts of them. Fighting together. That's that's my uh, understanding. Obviously, it was part. Maybe, maybe it was me answering, but maybe they answer. I can't tell. But that's what I feel. So I guess we would invite some comments from our okay. friends out there. We got a couple more people that just came in. I'm not sure who they were. Hello, whoever you are. That Frantisek, I guess. Oh, Frantisek. Thank you. Hello. Frantisek? Yes, Frantisek. Hey, Hayan. <clears throat> Hayan. Hello. Hey, Hayan. Long time no see. Good. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you too, everybody. Yes. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Oh, you're hi. There we have three guests here: Janice, Doris, and Sandy. And uh, there may be more coming. So if if uh, more people come, uh, just let us uh, get them into the place and get them seated. So, <laughs> or somebody can do that. Yeah, there are chairs in the. There are the chairs in the kitchen. Oh, thank you, Janice. Thank you. So, do you want me to start to meditate? Yeah. If you okay. want to say a few words, that's fine. If you just want to go. <clears throat> well, you know me. I'm very shy. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and go do a meditation so we can start and see who comes. I've invited all of the usual people plus... Uh, if anybody wants to come that uh, has an important message, especially. So, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, I'm a little congested. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Hello. Oh, look at Yes. Look at Ah. Uh, one moment, please. Oh, that is better. Yes. Hello. I have come with a little bit of news, but not nothing really important. But there is another one of my species. His name is Kalish. Kalish. And he will be channeling through Gabriel. And Gabriel is here. And Gabriel. Hello, Hello, Gabriel. I did not know you were there. Um, but Kalish is coming, and he wants to be your channel. So there you have that. That is a small bit of news. Kalish, we welcome I, you. You're very welcome to our community. We will really be happy to have a new channel to come through to us. Yes, have you, has Kalish come through you again? Uh, many times many now, and we feel now. very balanced very with him. Balanced. Very good. Excellent. That is a good thing. I have not spoken to him, so I was going to ask you how you felt. But he feels quite well. The last time I spoke to him, he was quite happy with the situation. Yes. And Gabriel, congratulations. Uh, you asked for that many times. You're very persistent mm -hmm. and insistent. And finally it happens. Welcome mm -hmm. and wonderful. Yes, Kalish is a colleague of mine and has been approved for you. Yes. He may come through I... Jim as well. I think I have spoke, he has spoken his language through me. Wonderful. Excellent. Very good. I will tell him that you are pleased as well, but I believe he already knows that. <sighs> Is there any questions for me while I'm here? Yes. yes. Ah. Um, I have a couple, have of, a questions couple of questions from Noha, is Noha Arabia. Sarah. Arabia. Yes. yes, this is yes. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Hi. Yes. Yeah. Um, Noha wanted me to, to give you a couple of questions. Ah, Noha. Yes, is from Arabia. Yeah, Arabia, yes. Um, she wanted to know how many hybrid children does she have and what entities or species are they? Didn't they not tell her that already? No, they have not. She found she out from Gira that, that she had a number of children. children. I see. I thought someone had told her. Just a moment. Mm -hmm. I only know of two. There may be more, but mm -hmm. the two that I know of are one is a Yil hybrid, and it's a male. But you will have to name, tell her that she will have to name these children because they will go by the name the mother gives them. Oh, okay. Not the surrogate mother, but the, the actual mother from the DNA. Ah. So she will have to give a male name to the Yigil boy who is now four. Mm -hmm. And the other is just very young from very recent, is about five months old. Okay. And it is a Pleiadian hybrid. Mm -hmm. And it is a female. She, she must name there were ten kids. kids. I do not know of ten. <laughs> I, perhaps someone had double vision when they were <laughs> seeing her hybrid children. I do not see ten, no. <laughs> But there might be some out there that I do not see yet because of the, where they are from. I am, no, I am aware of the Grook Fichnir Alliance children, but mm -hmm. I am not close to other alliances, so I may not be aware of the children from there. Yes, there is an echo. echo. Oh, why didn't you say so? Is everyone an echo? Yes. yes. We are not on a mountain. <laughs> Yeah, oh, your technology echo. I see. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that's better. Oh, is it? That's right. better. Okay, perfect. Yes. Um, oh, okay. 
Her next question is, why is there no serious entities in the human colony so far? There is one, Sentia. Sentia. Sentia is a Syrian that channels through Jim, but she has not been around lately. But she will be back, I am sure. She is a very light being, a very loving and gentle being. And the knowledge that she gives seems very general, but it is actually very deep. Mm. Okay. And she has one more. Uh, she wanted to know what is her hybrid, hybridization uh, percentage. And she believes she has some Pleiadian, Arcturian, Lyrian, so she would like to have that confirmed. They do them separately. They, they have separate programs for each. But you, if, if you got a small percentage of each, then you could possibly have all three. Oh, I see you've had one <coughs> from birth. I understand. Okay. Yes. I have to double check these things because sometimes it is possible for me to flex energy to other people when they are at a distance like this. I have been incorrect at a couple of times and I want to make sure that this is correct information. So bear with me for a moment. Yes. Because you realize that I am going through your technology to see her. Right. And your technology is not as good as ours. <laughs> ah. Liren? Liren as at 3.5%. Octorian, though, is higher at 6. And Pleiadian is also at 6. Mm. These will work well together if the Lyran is not too high in the system because it would be a dominating. Octorian and Lyran would be more dominating than the Pleiadian. However, the Octorian has um, very high intentions in the body. Uh, not that the Lyran doesn't, but it seems to treat the body much uh, more gently than the Lyran. Mm. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Yes, Tell Nana I said namaste. Yes, I will. Thank you. Um, and I had a question for me. I was supposed to name my Octarian uh, daughter. Yes. And I've been coming up with just a conundrum of what to call her. And um, uh, what's her name? Zenaida, uh, she says she channeled the name Ashara. Ahashara. Yes, yeah, Ahashara. 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 Ahasha. Yes, she oh, said. It's very pretty. Yes. What does it mean? Ahasha means distant love. Distant love. I like of that. The, of the family. It's a distant family love. Yes. Distant family love. Kind of love, the romantic love, or friendship love. It's a family love. It, uh. but it, Love of the family would be in there. Yes. Oh, okay. Very good. I like that. Yes, I, I would like for that to be her name. Ahasha. Ahasha. Yes. And um, I was also told I had a Yael son from Gira. And he's eight years old, so I was wondering if he already had a name. <laughs> they give him names 
they give their names to the children, but the name that you select will be the name that they use. So if, they do, if you do not give them a name, they will use the name given to them. But they would prefer that the mother give the name. And then they feel closer to the line of their our origin. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, thank you. Yes. I have to think of one. <laughs> His name right now is Vincentian. 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 What does that mean? Of the highest thought. Of the highest thought. Can yeah. you spell that? Do you know the spelling? Vincentian. In I can't even say it now. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Then Sengen is, is I I would not know how to spell it actually. I will do it phonetically. I, I Thank you. The name. Yes, I would do it phonetically. Yes, um, do it phonetically. Yes, that's what I would have to do anyway. <laughs> and that's for me is like sometimes difficult because your letters and our letters are totally different. So I understand. Thank you very much. Yes. All right, I'll move it to the next person. Um, is she with you there? No, she's texting. I see. This is a little harder to contact that way, but since they've put some regulations on how I have to do that. Oh, she's here in the group, but she's writing her uh, question. I see. Oh, there's no further no card. Let's go. Just Nina. Just Nina. I see it. At least you have one hybrid daughter. Have you been told about this daughter before? No. No. She's two. Would you like to name her? She is a, actually three hybrids. She says, oh my god, how nice. Octorian and Yigil both are in her hybridization. Four, four percent Octorian and five percent video. She says, is she aware of me? Yes. All hybrids after a certain period are told about their original parents. It is just like it is a very good idea to tell an adopted child who they are early in their life so they do not believe that you are holding secrets from them. Does that make sense to you? They do know. She says yes, and she asks, what does she think of me? Ah, oh, your daughter loves you, of course. And she does visit you in some ways. Uh, through technology, they allow her to see you. But one day you will visit after first contact. You must name her though. Give her a name. She is two. Two point one years old. Uh, she says, Thank you very much. I will think about the name. Good. Who else is there? Very uh Nitris is has asked his question in Titan. Yes. Hello. So um, hello, can you hear me? Hello. He's now, yeah, you can speak now. Yes. Okay. Um, I had a, had a question about my uh, canine human hybrid children. Um, I want to know something about um, the mother and um, the children. Um, whichever one 
um, resonates high with me at this moment? K9? Yes. Mean, and where, what species? Species of dog? Uh, yes. Humanoid looking. Ah. That is from a very distant galaxy. One moment. Are they coming toward Earth? Where did you find this information? I was told by uh, Treb or Yitney. Ah, he is distant as well. That is why. He just told you that they were born? He did not tell you any information about them? I am hoping you're hard he time. Just, he just right. said I had several. And that is confirmed by Treb. He has interceded for you. Let me talk to Treb, and he may tell me the answer to that question. Just a moment. <coughs> Usually six, but yes, six. This is a common family unit, is six children. Four boys and two girls. They are giving me their names, but I can. It is hard to pronounce because they are in guttural language that I do not know. That was the name of one of your children. That's the oldest. Very peculiar. They are all names that just are sound like what humans would call sounds. They are sound names. They are not like Max or Sunny. They are like what the these are similar to their names. I'm not sure I pronounced them correctly. Oh, um, who, uh, who's their, their mother? She is of the canine species, which I do not know the name of. But she is the surrogate mother of your children, along with a surrogate father who had to also introduce his DNA into the picture as well for it to be successful. So you are, the three of you are together in the, the infant's lives. And it was like a litter of children. However, one was born several days before the next. They're born days apart and not minutes or hours. Days as in human days, not their time. Wow. What's their density? They have a third 
moving to fourth density. Mm. Any particular height? What was that? Height? Height. About three feet. And three and a half feet. Somewhere in that area. They're not huge. They're not very t large. They're, their species is not large. It does... They do stand on their hind legs. And they look quite like a humanoid with some features of canine, correct. Uh, the Egyptian, one of the Egyptian gods very frequently shown with the dog head. Would it be re related to those canine humanoids? That was a god. <clears throat> And these are not gods, but they might be related in some ways. Um, when that species was on Earth, they were considered a god. This species is a relation of that species, a seeding from that species that is not quite as evolved. So they're related. In some ways, yes. Indirectly, but they have common answers. Yes. Our uh, next one was uh, Pegasus. Do you have anything else? Um, yes, one more. Um, um, you said they were in a distant galaxy. Yes. They were. They are seemingly far away to me. I said a distant galaxy right away, but it's perhaps just distant from me. I am not sure where. I am seeing, I'm only seeing what Trub is allowing me to see at this time. Pass our things to Trub. Yes, I have already. Thank you, Trub, for that. Thank you. Well, tell him I said thank you. You're welcome. So Gabriel, I believe, is next, unless I'm mistaken. Okay. Yes, uh, do I have any hybrid children? Like Not yet. Not yet. But there is much for you going on with you, so be patient. Yeah. No, we, we don't really need children. We can have the connection for other yeah. ways, too. But uh, uh, can you tell me anything more about Kalash? Kalash, yeah. Kalash? Kind to interesting. He is a blue. He is slightly taller than me. Jealousy is not running in our gene pool, but sometimes I wish I were slightly taller. So, <laughs> but he is a very welcome member of the group. That there is another member that tried to get uh, the same qualifications. I will not mention the name, but was denied. I had mentioned their name before on another at another time, but they were denied access to the program of, uh, because they just were not yet quite prepared. Perhaps in a while they will be prepared and be added to the program as well. But Kalish has been designated for you, and he will come right. through you as well, but he's designated for you at this time he has not come through Jim yet. Jim knows about him, but that is all. He will visit you first and get used to your body first. That, that's what I feel like. He's come and getting used, and he's almost comes to the head. But it's yes, not quite yet. Yeah. You, you are a little bit like Max, not quite. Max? Yes with the clogged head and such. Oh. You have to learn to uh, just, uh, when you meditate, let it all go and eat. But even when Max lets it all go, there's still things floating around in there that are that he is thinking about subconsciously. He doesn't even, um, is aware. But, um, yes. But I feel that's going to be sold eventually. Yes, it's going to be soon. Yes, and um, 
Thank you for that information. About I really love his energy. Yes, his energy is quite good, just like mine, but a little different. Not quite. You know, we're not <laughs> all the same. Same as you. We are, there are subtle differences in all of us, and sometimes big differences. But on our planet, the differences are not quite as big as your diverse culture. Who is next? Oh, wait a second. Uh, I have questions which would be important for the community. One is, how important it was that Gabriel was insisted on inviting the child? Did it play a role? <clears throat> there were several things that played a role in that he needs grounding, and Kalish will help him with that. He also has the capacity for channeling, and that was seen by the fact that he was downloading the language, he could actually feel the emotion of the language. Because if you remember correctly, after Gabriel would speak Octorian, he would laugh. Many times that's what happens on Octorian people. Huh. They laugh afterwards because it is an intended language for joy and understanding and uplifting. So when he's Spoken, he was able to laugh afterwards and feel the exact emotion of what the Octorian language was all about. And so he was, they had noted that and given him extra points, should we say, for that. And, and they wished that he would um, come up, and so they are helping him with this. How many more uh, channelers are channeling channel to Earth from your civilization? Only the two of us at this time. Wonderful. We welcome doubling of the number of the channelers. Yes. Was it because you were so successful? Yes. Wonderful. Congratulations, Lakesh. Thanks. That's one of the greatest accomplishments. Yes. Wonder it is one of my com accomplishments, and there will be a celebration. Perfect. We will celebrate uh, towards you. Uh, the jewelry. Uh, yes. Oh, yes, you must celebrate with jewelry. But remember, the important thing about the jewelry is the history behind it. The history of the person that wore it first. Ah, I guess we have a question from the from here, from physical here. Janice. Yes. Um, I have a question about my white bracelet. Um, are people trying to contact me through this one tourmaline bracelet through my uh, right wrist chakra? Is there something special about this? I, I'm, something's going on, but I'm not quite sure what's going on. Ah, I will check for you. That is a spirit world question. I am not always in tune, but let me check and see if I can find out for you. Thank you. One moment, please. There is a spirit, a spirit of a psychic from Earth who has just passed on. The heat represents healing. He is no longer in pain. There is no longer any disease. He wants you to know that your heat, the heat from this bracelet, will be healing to you. But right now it seems too hot for you. He will adjust the power. There is much love coming from this direction. Much love coming from this direction. There was a connection between you and this person. He no longer goes by his old name.
he has changed it. Say hi to him from me and from James. Yes. Oh my God. He is. He is quite aware of your feelings, and he often speaks to you in many ways. And he will continue to do so for some time. Tell him that my dog Romeo misses and grieves one too. Romeo. 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 Yes. <laughs> oh, Romeo. Yeah. Ah, he's, <clears throat> he was aware. Yes. Rakesh, I ha have a short thing. To say. Yes. It, I feel like I communicate best through feeling with Kalesh. Kalesh, yes. Kalesh. Yes, your emotions are tied. That part is done. We have several more people who are eager to ask. Hello, Lakesh. It's Elena. Elena. How are you, my friend? I am well. You might be not so tall, but for us, you are like a giant. So you should be oh, happy. You are so sweet. Thank you very much. Um, I want to. I want to ask a question I had in my mind just before coming. Um, I don't know if if it's um, if it's a subject you can speak about, but I want to speak about the brain control and about the brain control waves because they are coming coming in our modern society. I don't know when, we don't have a history about this and if you have some information to tell us uh, about the brain controlling because I have a feeling it was developed with new technology in the last hundred years but I cannot say and if you if you can give us some information about that. Are you speaking of the, the, the brain wave controlled by the reptilian? Or Probably, that yes. The Earth has also been a part of this. The government we have discovered. Yes. Earth governments and reptilians work together for this. Yes, the the the, the brain waves that make us consume, that make us um, that make us think on a on a consumative level, on a primary level. Yes, this has been developed for quite some time now, but it is not as efficient as they would like it because it also causes physical damage to humans and so they had to stop it in some areas. They did a test on a city and that city became very ill very quickly. So it has been improved the method has been improved and it has been tested several times but recently recently they did set it out on the world for a test run so to speak and it was actually this is another form of what you're talking about um, the, the original form was for, for consumerism and for for control of the wallet, so to speak. But this one is in control of emotions. And this is much more dangerous. It causes depression and things of lower vibration. And the reason for this is they do not want the aliens' influence on humanity because they will be less able to be manipulated and guided by the lies that people will realize because they are in the light that they are untrue and they want to keep this full control of humanity and so they are trying to bring down vibrational pools in the in the thought patterns so that they may can maintain control mm -hmm. they do not want it to be brought down so far as to breathe to have depressions and things of this nature, but just down far enough that 
they do not realize enlightenment. Do you understand that? Yes, yes, thank you. Um, do crystals and uh, what other objects would help us um, stay safe and balanced? Breathing. Learn to breathe properly. Breathing is life in your planet. Under all planets, a respiratory system that is clear and used properly maintains a greater health in the body. Study those things in yoga for the breathing because these things are healthy for you. <sighs> Next is Kayan. Okay, thank you. You are welcome. Also diet, that is also important. But breathing is essential basic. I wanted to add that. Hello, Lakesh. Hi, Yang. Yes. How are you? Yeah, I'm go. I'm doing good. How are you? Wonderful. Wonderful. Do I have a hybrid child? Do I have a hybrid child? Yes. There's one in the process, but it's not born yet. Congratulations. Mm. Thank you. It so, uh, has it been decided it that is it's a, going? Yes. It is. It's. It will be a female, and it is of Pleiadian origin. Okay. Nice. Uh, how how is my um, hybridization going? Very well, yes. It is complete. The Yael is complete. Yes, the Yael is complete. Um, um, so have it... Uh, if there is going to be another hybridization uh, started, it will have to wait for a little while while this one is totally in, in, infused into the body. Oh, okay. And stimulated by all parts. And so, so the next week after that, probably in perhaps a month. Okay, okay, nice. And how much is um, every, every everything activated from the DNA? For Pleiadian, 6.5. What else Pleiadian? is there? There's something else in there, isn't there? I didn't know I had Pleiadian, man. What did you uh, have? Uh, Yael. Yes. And that's it. it. I'm going to. I asked for Arcturian and uh, Liran. Ah. You did not ever ask for Pleiadian? No. Interesting. Only, you... but in my mind, I had. In your mind, but, you had? Yeah. Let me see why. I will check that for you. Giving time, I must go soon. Oh, I see. Oh, Takur says that the Adian will balance out the others that you asked for. The three of the ones that you asked for together are going to be balanced out by the Pleiadian. The Pleiadian had to come first so the others can be equalized into the body properly. Mm. So, that Within you, there is a certain thing that the Pleiadian will balance out easier with the Pleiadian in you. So this is why they put that in first. And then the others, they're not sure if you can do Lyra. The others will be, will be uh, initialized soon. Okay, they're, still well, huh. they're still checking on the Lyra. But okay. Octorian will be next. Octorian, and then you heal. Yes. So have uh, is the Yael not completed, Yanni? The Yael has been completed. Yes. Oh well. Yes. yes. Wait a minute. I actually yes. felt that uh, that I wanted some Pleiadian, but I didn't ask it out loud. The Pleiadian balances out the Yael and the Octorian. 
but they're not sure about the deal. Yes. yes. What do you have the 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 uh, you you put in? Uh, what? Did you already have the yield put in? Yeah, yeah I, I had some yield before. Yeah. The greatest sense was the Pleiadian at this time since it's new and it's simulating. But you're right, the yield is already there. So they put in the Pleiadian second, correct? I'm okay. sorry. That was a, as you know, it's hard for me to read from distances sometimes. So yeah, that's, yeah. But the, the Octorian will come. That will be the next one. I was Wonderful. correct about that. They, they are planning to do Arcturian next. Wonderful. And one um, general thing. Last time you talked about the Illuminati. Yes. And I don't want to bring down the vibration, but um, I was very pleased to hear that uh, there is good guys in the Illuminati. Yes, there are some very good people in the Illuminati. And that's very interesting. What would their purpose be? Their purpose is to for guidance of those that are misled. When they get together, which is rare, the discussion always leads into a higher vibrational discussion. Even mm. with those of the lower, you see though, unu it's unusual to tell you this, but even those that are considered bad have higher vibrational levels because of their understanding of spirit and and things of that nature. They can have a higher dark, darker vibration, if you understand. Mm. Mm. But it's still a higher vibration than humans. Which is very interesting because as you know, the universe is held together by dark matter. So they feel that their their inception, their thought patterns are necessary to keep Illuminati balanced. Mm. And uh, very difficult discussion. Yes, I understand. But but uh, it isn't like they are light workers. They're still no. not all of them. And some of the Illuminati. Well. I don't think any no, I'm, I'm speaking of the good ones in the Illuminati. They could not be considered light workers, no. No. Okay, okay. So um, that's it for me right now. Thank you. Thank yes. You. Yeah. Akash, thank you very much. We appreciate your help. So what happened to Akash? He, was oh, he right. just, you know, his time right now, they turned him to the connection off. Oh, okay. Welcome, Jim, back. Uh, I'm I'm leaving in in couple minutes. Uh, <laughs> John, sorry for sorry you. I mean, you wanted to to speak last, and uh, we can never tell how long the session was. Who, who wanted to speak? Uh, seven seven seven. John Long. Oh, he was speaking, wasn't he? No, he waited, but he didn't have a chance. Oh, sorry. But oh, no. now maybe it's, uh, if you pronounce them, whoever comes next time might answer them. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you, Max. Thank you, Jim. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. You, yeah, yeah, uh, it's okay. Thank you, guys. Oh, well, I'm sorry you didn't get to ask your questions. I don't know. <laughs> he faded away. He faded away. He had lost connection. There was uh, yeah. nothing I could do about it. <laughs> you can also. <laughs> yeah, Gabriel. yeah, I, I see. I see. Yeah, Gabriel now is connection to the same, uh, has connection to the same civilization, maybe. He can give you the answer. I mean, even in writing. <laughs> Not. I just connect to the NE right now, so oh, I'm learning how to. Okay. Yeah. Right, but when there are questions, they they have a reason to give you the answer, so that might help you to establish the textual connection, just okay. the con communication of information. I should try working with other people to connect to collection. Yeah, that's good. No problem. Yeah. Um, I wanted to let you you know where the restroom is, right? Yeah, yeah. And you know the restroom is straight upstairs. Oh, okay, thank you. And the steps are right over there. And I have to let everybody know where that is because I mean these get long. Yeah. Gotta go. <laughs> so, thank, thank you, Jim. Now we all know. If we arrive, we know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I said, I'll show you. Go right there. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> right there, you kind of. I can point it right there. Behind the television, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, I, maybe yeah. I can answer travel and uh, use up all your yeah. toilet paper. <laughs> but then you come back there and then you <laughs> don't have any toilet paper. I'm still traveling on my toilet paper? No, <laughs> just to, to, to uh, add more, to give you more. Oh, okay. What do you feel? What do you feel? Oh, I see. All right. Which one is the channel of a Hakatini that was uh, Jaguar. Jag Jaguar. Is he here? Is that mm -hmm. Jaguar, are you no, here? I don't, no, don't no. see him. But he's the one that uh, channels a Hakatini. Okay. He hasn't been on in a while, has he? Um, he has slowed down a little, but I'm sure he'll be back. I see him popping up. He's just not as active as two mm. days ago. He, he has came in yesterday and had some information very quickly, but he's not. He doesn't have any time for who he has at this moment. His personal life that are, he's dealing with right now. So. Oh, that is it appropriate to announce it on the web? Well, I mean, we all have a personal life. Yeah, but you know, I mean, it's not a bad thing. I mean, it's work, it's play, it's all the you're, you're. It's not a negative thing. But you know, there are some people who prefer to stay behind the scenes. And that is still behind the scenes because. Yeah. Uh, I didn't say anything of what was going on with him. All right. <laughs> I just said he's dealing with his personal life, which we all do. <laughs> oh, um, all right. Uh, bye, bye, everybody. I'm leaving, but Jim can stay, and um, you can have a nice chat. If somebody comes through, then uh, whatever. Do you think you would channel more later, or how, how is it? Well, it's possible. All right. So um, if you want to stay now, uh, we can have a chat with uh, of whatever kind you want. So. so when you finish, disconnect everything okay. and shut down completely. Like, ask maybe Doris. She knows how to shut down completely. OK, well, I see the stop. The yeah, it will stop by itself. You just you know, All right. shut down everything. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye, Max. Have a great time. Yes. You Have a great. And He's going camping in to, near Toronto. Yes. Goodbye, it's, Max. What do you call it? Russian. Uh, is a Russian, Russian Woodstock. Yeah. He's going to the Russian Woodstock. Really nice. Yes. Yeah. Bye, bye. Bye bye. Jim bye bye. Wondering he is playing. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right. Hello. It's just me right now. If uh, if you want me to, uh, is there anybody that you want to uh, talk to? Apparently, Jesus. To her. <laughs> Jesus. I want to talk to, to her. Okay. Oh, Jesus! Someone said. Jesus. Take a break. Let's speak for a few minutes. Break this. We need the break with the channel. Oh, I know. Yeah. The channel muscle needs to relax. Yeah. It's gonna be exhausting. I, I feel okay. Actually, they have huge good energy. Huh? Yeah, they have huge good energy. Uh, is anybody warm? Are you, uh, okay, because I will turn on the air conditioner if you need it. Have a good trip, Max. I wonder, I wonder if I'm going to get, like, bring uh, people warm if I have Kalish. If you, if you have Kalish, what? If. People around me would be warm, like you. Warm, <laughs> yes. I'm not sure. It, it pro, pro, probably when because you have a personality. When the cash sits on the uh, vortex, he becomes extremely strong, extremely strong, and funny, and <laughs> funny, and very much himself. He but was even funnier last Friday. Yeah, I mean, he's always got a cute person. Well, this is the second time, but yes. last Friday he was a hoot. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I don't remember that. Uh, I haven't watched it. Yet. Gossamer, wasn't it? Yeah, Gossamer. the Gossamer Woods. That's when he sits on the vortex. Yeah. Okay. He always gets really funny there. Oh and he was funny the first God. time he sat there, too. So. Oh, my gosh. It's, so too it's too weird. You couldn't have experienced it in the way we did. Yeah, that's it was <laughs> unusual. Does any So you want to see... Uh, See if I can bring to Kerr. We're just having a discussion among ourselves here, so hold on. Yes. 
Can you hear me well? Yes. Yes, we can. Yes. I don't think you're going to have to move around the microphone. Okay, good. Thank you. Because it's, it seems to usually works well, whatever place it is. Yeah. Well, but sometimes well. if you completely like move away with your head from the microphone, then it's maybe. Okay. Excellent. Because there's we have two microphones now. Um, I've already I've always had microphones because um, of course I was in rock bands for many years, but um, <laughs> I still have a lot of the equipment, so we're using that right now. But he, those are his microphones. Not mine. All right, I'm going to see if Takur wants to come. Welcome. Hello, Take. Hello. How are you? Ah, oh, there is many. Wow, thank you. Are you doing well? Oh, no. Yes. Greetings, Taker. Yeah. Max could not be uh, here, sure. So. Yes. I Yes. I remember. Yes. Ah. You have questions for me. I have one. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering if I would I would love to channel my higher self. Uh, yes. And I don't know how to do that. Have I got some kind of blockages? Have you been able to engulf your body in your meditation? When there is a meditation where you can bring the light out and it can engulf your body and then engulf your aura. I always ask for the white light to come in. Correct. Bring it out. Move it out of you, and then when it engulfs your aura, your higher self is within that space, and you will be able to communicate then. I will give you more instruction, but it would be too in depth to talk about it. Okay, okay. Taka, can you say anything about the colonies? The colonies? Like what's going on there? They will be open again in five to seven days. Hopefully, the the sooner the better. But we can we can still remember things from the colony that has happened before. We know, yes. This is one of the things that we are trying to fix. We are not sure yet that it is totally corrected, but it will be open five to seven days. They will notify you next webinar. Can I ask, uh, have I been in the colonies? You have been there once. You were frightened. Yes, I remember. Yes. At first you were frightened, but, and then you were fine. But that is probably why you remember is 
There's no, I remember. What do you remember? I, I remember I was very excited. When I woke up, I was very, very excited. Yes. You became acclimated very quickly. At first, it was a shock. And then you were slightly afraid of some of the looks of some of the aliens. But when you were greeted by humans and told what was happening, you became very excited. And you were in the telepathic class. They are teaching you telepathic abilities first. Wow, amazing. Uh, will, will I go there again? Of course. When the colony yes. is open, you will go again. Yes. Thank you very much. I, I wish I wish to go. Thank you. Yes. When you were one of the in the one of the last people that were there before the colonies closed. Hello, Tukur. Um, Nitrous has a question. Yes. Well, um, I have a. Uh, well, I have two things I wanted to say. The first one is a quest. Well, yeah, two of them are short questions. Um, the day before yesterday, um, me and my me and some of my friends here in this hangout were doing a hangout, and I was able to channel. Entity. It was my first time. Um, and the next day, I was asking who it was, and um, your picture came up in my mind. Was that you that I was channeling? You were channeling Lyra, but it was not me. But my picture came to mind because I am Lyra. Do you want to know who you were channeling? Yes. Then Tork. Then Tork. Then Tork. D E N T O R K. Then Tork. Oh, um, who who is and the sentence? The first time he channeled through anyone. But he was approved to channel several months ago, but never has. He was had the fear that he would hurt the human mind, but as I have pointed out to him many times that he would not unbalance you in any way, and therefore he chose to come at that time. Was his message good? It was. Excellent. Um, I am aware that he was there. And uh, my second question. Um, <laughs> it's really uh, funny, but like I wanted to ask um, if a date is possible. A date for what? A date. Uh, um, you mean for uh, me? A date is possible for what? A date uh, between uh, me and you, because I have much synchronicity with the uh, feline energy, and I've been thinking about it for a while, and I just decided to let it out. Ah, oh, this is flattery. I have a mate. But there are several female Lyrans that you may want to speak to. But I could meet you at some time, yes. And discuss your feelings in human terms. Is Hello, it's Elena. Elena. Hi. Um, I want to ask, um, how am I doing in the colonies, and how is my hybridization going? You are doing well in the colonies with languages and telepathy. 
your hybridization program is intact. How much had you had before? I have 3% TIL, and I'm not sure about anything else. Yes, the yield has been increased to 4.2%. Okay. Uh, do I have a hybrid child? Yes. I'm not it, mm -hmm. of it at this time, though. It is a special in case. It turns out that its IQ is far above what they expected. Do the child has a name? Yes. Can you repeat that? In Kirk. In Kirk. In Kirk. In Kirk. So it's a boy. Pronounced in English. In Kirk, it is a boy. Thank you. I will tell you more later. You must name it. Okay. Fikr, are you allowed to speak about the weather? Do you have information? I have much information about the weather, much information about your seismic property. California is now your, California all the way up to Alaska is your greatest seismic threat at this time. And also in the southeast, which is unusual, Virginia, Tennessee, these areas in here, between that Virginia and Tennessee, I see a large area of seismic opportunities. The energy from the center of the universe, or from the center of the galaxy, I should say, has been playing havoc with your planet, and there will be no question, some great earthquakes. We will not be able to stop them completely. And they will be coming fairly soon. Within the next few years. How but about New Zealand, Australia, and the European area? They are not as bad. Australia, perhaps. New Zealand, perhaps. Let me, but I am not working on that side of the world. I would have to get in contact with another ship. But I do know that around the North American continent, the weather also is very strategically bad at times. Heavy amounts of rain, tornadoes where there should not be any tornadoes at this time of year. Um, lightning. Like lightning strikes at 130 strikes per minute. Not, not a good sign. We had in Bulgaria ice falling from the sky like uh, eggs, very big balls of ice in and the that, summer. Yes, unfortunately, be, the hail situation in Europe is going to get worse unless they can control it. <laughs> in the European area, they have called for a backup. There are now three ships around the North American continent due to the seismic problems in Yosemite and mostly during, at this time, it's the California coast, all the way from Alaska to all down through California. Taco. If you, if you fix a problem in the weather or the seismic in one location, does it happen, something else happen on another place because of you fix it? I, we do not, no, it does not, because this is localized, meaning that it cannot go through the center of the earth and affect something else. That is not likely. I mean, it may have a very slight effect, but nothing of consequence. But with helping with the, the plates, you call them, that rub together and move side to side, we can help that slightly by moving it with force fields 
very small amounts, but every movement, an inch or a foot, causes earthquakes and causes disturbances. But so we have to make it so that it is so gradual that you that it is not affecting anything in a major way. That is why they're having many tremors in the California area, and they had many tremor, tremors in Yosemite and Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone National Park is still a threat, but it has gone down 37% due to our help. California, on the other hand, is still way up there at the 80% mark. There's an 80% chance at any time that we could make a mistake and that would set something off. So we are being extremely careful because their chances for an earthquake at this time are 47%. With us working on it, it is 80%. You understand? But yes. If we are successful, we can bring that down. Bring the 47% down to perhaps 28 or 29%, which is much less. But right now, as time goes on, that number, 47%, goes up quickly, quickly. If we plant a lot of trees all around the world, like 20% more nature, will this um, balance something at this point? Yes, that will help. You would have to have more than 20%, though, because at the rate of oxidization and release and intake and release, you would probably need about 33% more trees. This is like a whole continent. Yes. Thank you. Hello, Takir. Yes, hello. This is Sarah. Sarah. I wanted to uh, give greetings and and to say thank you for allowing me to become part of your family. Welcome to my family. <laughs> yes. Also, um, Jaguar would like to extend his greetings. He, he cannot make it here, so he wanted to say Aha Katini wanted to extend his greetings. Aha Katini, thank you. And Jaguar, many blessings and namaste. Yes. And um, I had a question. Jaguar for one second. What you are doing is greatly appreciated by many of us here in Book for Gmir. Continue to do your work and show the wisdom of the ages through a hot team. Continue. Thank you. Um, I had a question about channeling because I find that some people are channeling through the back of their heads and they're speaking through their mouths and then um, some people are going full body energy uh, and integrating the energy itself. Yes. And I was wondering if there was any difference in that whole aspect of things. Yes. What is it? ways to channel. There are many ways to channel once you know that the channel is open. Once the channel is free, it can come from different places. Jim uses one straight down through the chakras. However, some use left side, some use right side, some use... And Lakesh comes in in full body as an apparition kind of thing. You call it holographic. Yes. There are many ways. Some people take on the energy of the being coming in, but most of it, most people channel through just the brain area, the, at, the accesses to the different brain on the left, right, and center of the head. There are some that come in through the back near the heaven chakra at the base of the neck. So when I um, invited Adronis to come in, it came into my entire body. What does that mean? That just means that that is the style that alien chooses to use, just like Lakesh, 
the cash comes into the entire body. Adronus, I was not aware how he channels, but he obviously chose to come through your entire body. Okay. Um, I had a, another question, um, but I forget at the moment, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but I wanted to ask for Frank to check. He has a dark energy being who would like to speak. A dark energy being? Yes. Can he speak to me? Or is yes. me? Continue. Francis Shack, go ahead. Okay, I will speak to you, but I will bring him. What is the name of the energy? His name is Baldrick. Uh, what was yeah. that? Baldrick. That was his name. Now he is the dark matter itself. One moment. Is there a message from this being? Yes. I will translate it for you. My name is Kira. Is it a positive message? Yes. Then continue. Yes. Baldrug expresses uh, his request to join your games. There seems to be a lot of negative energy going on. And uh, he believes he can greatly accelerate its transformation. A transformation to what? Transformation to growth, to integration of all. You wish to service to all. You wish to have service to all through integrating with the group in a positive in way. Although you are holding negative energy, is this kind of negative energy that which is your essence or that which you hold within? We don't consider this energy being negative anymore. Ah, in that case, yes, you may find asylum. Thank you. We welcome your mindset. that can help you. But do not force yourself upon them. That is all I ask. Yeah, thank you. I'm back now. <laughs> but he uh, got the message. Thanks. Thank you. Is there time for one more question? It was Hayan, and then it was me. Hello, Tucker. Yes. Uh, do I visit uh, the colonies? Yes. Uh, I guess it is in the telepathic uh, colonies. You visit colony one and two. Okay. Colony is for your help. They are teaching you and your subconscious how to eat better and how to take better care of your body. 
Yes. Very good. That makes sense. And in Colony 1, they are teaching you telepathy, as you are aware. Yeah. And My you telepathy are, is... You are actually a very good student for the sense that there is so much going on in your human life. When you are at the colony, you are very centered. When you are in your human life, you tend to be slightly scattered. But these things will come together. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that as well. Do I have a reptilian connection? There is one, yes. Yes. I heard that I had some reptilian lineages. Yes. Yes. You do. Well, I know. And you have a reptilian as a guard. As a what? A guard that is around you at all times. Okay, like a spirit guide. Correct. Only he monitors you in many ways to see if you're showing any signs of reptilian activity within your brain and body. And do I? There are moments that you do. Okay. But you are much Was that too, you are way more continue. No, please continue. You were going to say something. That is okay. It's not for me to say at this time. Okay. Uh, would that uh, be a part of my feelings? Yes. My, my emotional? Yes. It because I feel that, or, or I experience that I have different feelings than... You sometimes feel agitated, and does your brain feel fuzzy sometimes? Not so much fuzzy. Okay, then you are not going through a reptilian adolescence. But I can tell you that there is some reptilian influences on you, yes. As I integrate... Uh, a lot of myself lately I have been uh, I have been uh, experiencing a lot of anger Correct. And, uh, and before I haven't I thought that I could never be angry reptilian trait is that anger is honorable when it is sent in an honorable direction they feel that anger is much like love because you needed to express yourself sometimes. And yes. love, um, love it is necessary, and they feel anger is necessary as well. This is not a belief shared by all alien species. Yeah. So, so I, have, um, I have been releasing that energy and uh, training myself not to dwell it. it is what it is. You are human. It will come out. But do not dwell on it. Try to rise yourself above it. However, if you need, if you do feel it, it is part of who you are. If you mm -hmm. break your spirit and move it out toward the edges of your body, it will not be as powerful. Can you repeat that? It's okay, I will listen to the video. Uh, I think John John is here now, and if he can speak, he has been uh, wanting to ask a question for a long time. Yes. Yeah, Go ahead. Yes. Yes, and thank you, Hayan. Continue. Hello, Taki. This is Kavi. Hello. I want to ask ask you: Do I have any alien DNA, or do I have 
Do I have any alien connect? Your connections and DNA. You yeah. Have, you have asked for infusions of DNA. Yeah. You will have some of them. Yes. Too much is too. You asked for too much, but it will be given to you in infusions that your body will be able to handle. As far as hybrid children, at this time, they are processing your application for hybrid children. Yes. Yeah. And have I been to the human colony? Yes. What have I done on there? You've been learning telepathy, and you've also been to Colony 3, where the filmmakers are. I am not sure why you were there, but you were there. Oh, OK, thank you, thank you. I must go now. Take care. Oh, bye-bye, bye-bye. Namaste and blessings to all of you, but I must go. There is weather patterns that are developing that are un. Namaste. All right. Thank Namaste. you, Tiger. Namaste. Namaste. Ooh, hello everybody. Wonderful. Welcome back. <laughs> hello, uh, Jim. How are you? Thank you, Jim. Yeah. We Ooh. had a cool, cool channel. What? Um, Frantisek was channeling together with the car. Oh. Asking question. Oh, was that okay? Was that cool? Yeah, that was good. Was good. Was good. Was good. Was good. Wow. <laughs> um. Well, it is now 11 o'clock my time. I don't know if you want to uh, continue to going. I think I'm done channeling for today, though. But um, there's much to do today. <laughs> so I think I'm going to let you all go. And um, I love you very much. And thanks for being here. Uh, some of you are here. I didn't expect so many people here this early. But... Uh, there was many, many of you here. Thanks very much. Hello, Jim. Yes? Hi, my name is Wendy. I just wanted to say hello to you while I had the opportunity. I'm sorry I just came in late and I didn't I miss Wendy, the channeling. I <laughs> Wendy, I heard about um, uh, about you through Safira. So. Oh, well, okay. Thank you. So, um, and uh, that you predicted uh, some things. So, that was... <laughs> Thing. Well, but. I don't know if I'd call it predicted. I just sort of, sort of heard them and felt them. So I, I, <laughs> I just wanted to share them with everyone before I lost my courage. <laughs> oh, very good. Excellent. Well, if you wanted to say something to the group, that's fine with me. I have no problem with that. So, um, oh, where did everybody go? Oh, so but I just, I just wanted to say hi. That was all. I have not had the opportunity, and I enjoy your channeling very much, and I, I feel very deep, deeply connected to you. Oh, I feel. You know what? I'm. Um, I was just talking about this last night with Doris, one of the people that were here earlier, and I just feel so loved and blessed that I have a group of people like this around, that to talk to. And as do I. That yes. are that I'm getting close to in my neck of the woods are all wonderful, great people, and I'm just so happy that... I'm so, I, I'm so happy that I can... I also have a blue. <laughs> so we have a blues together in some ways now. Yes, so I feel very connected to the group, but to each individual as well. When I talk to people, it's like, wow, I, I just love you. You're all great. Yeah, I wanted to say uh, I just felt the universe shake with with this cha channeling last one. Oh. 
<laughs> and it was it was profound, I think. Excellent. I just thought it, I I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to go back and look at that channeling, but um, it was a very a good feeling. I I feel great and. Um, there's much to do, but because uh, I have several projects, and we're planning to be, I have to send away my um, video interview to become a host on Rob Gothier's network. Oh yes, I um, yes. I, I enjoy Rob very much and Treb. And Treb is wonderful, mm -hmm. and Rob is wonderful, and also Kathleen Newman. I don't know if anybody knows that name. Um, I do, I do as well. Yes. I'll be on her show on September 14th. Oh, how exciting! And then there's other things happening too. So, but uh, we resonated well together. So she asked me to be on her show. So, uh, just to, to tell you if it's uh, possible, I don't know if it's comfortable for the others, but nine o'clock is a very good time for uh, our meeting. Oh I yeah. Suitable time because we you don't lose. Um, and uh, just think about it, if for next Saturday, 9 o'clock is okay. Well, the thing is about 9 o'clock, the people on the West Coast can't join us. Right. Because unless they get up at 5.30 in the morning and join oh. us. Okay. okay. But, um, 10 o'clock seems to be a time. 7 o'clock isn't quite as bad for them. <laughs> but 10, 10 o'clock is also a good time for Europe. Yeah, it's a it's any time's good time for me, really. But I I worry about my uh, the people around here and yeah. they can join me and I want to see them and stuff. So anyhow, much love to you and I will talk to you next week. <laughs> yes, yes, thank you, thank you. I, 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 I love your yellow T-shirt. Oh, thank you. You look very fit. You look very fit in it. I look yeah. fit. Oh my goodness! You can't see the. Yeah, damn! You look like you're slimming down. I'm, I'm, slim, I'm holding my breath. You <laughs> <laughs> are getting more fit, and we all are. That's very good. Um, then you you're know, getting very fit. Spirit has been talking to me a lot about my fitness, mm -hmm. and a lot about how to draw that fitness to me by way of law of attraction. And by eating better and exercising, mm -hmm. and but I think a lot of attraction has a lot to do with health as well. Yeah. Oh, you can, absolutely. You can draw your health to you, and um, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. So, but you, you, do, what I understand, you don't need to draw like too much health. So you too much healthier, and uh, you you have to have strong muscles and all that stuff, then you create it in a negative way, and then you oh, get I, the negative. I do you not want talk it to be balanced. I will be balanced, because you know what? Law of attraction, when you ask for balance, you get it. Exactly. So. That's right. Just visualize the you you want to be. Exactly. Exactly there. Uh, yeah. good to be here, Wendy. Yes, Hello. thank you, Wendy, for being here. Thank you all for being here. I'm... I'm so blessed to know you all. So so pleased to finally get to say hello. Thank you. <laughs> and um, I'm I'm going to be in and out of the house all day, so I don't think I'll be able to do webinars today. But maybe in the evening. We'll see. Okay. Okay. So we'll, we'll see. Look we'll we'll how tired I get running around today. <laughs> so, yes, usually by seven or eight o'clock at night, I'm ready to sit. So, um, someone wants to say a prayer? Should... A quick one? Oh, yeah. Does anybody want to say a prayer? That would be wonderful. Wendy, someone? Yeah. I'm so happy to see everyone here today. That we're moving on. Even if we have some bounce of negativity, we're still rising up even higher yeah. than before. We're not here to judge anybody. We're not here to... Um, Say anything about anybody. We're here to rise together. If they choose not to rise, that is their. We can help them as much as we can, but if they don't rise, we have to continue rising. We can't fall down to to help somebody else to rise. We can lift them up with our rising, and they can be part of the web whenever they want to be. 
So don't worry about it because I'm sure that, that those people that are, you know, falling down a little bit will see that we're rising up still. So, and, and they'll want to be part of that. At least that's how I would feel. Yes. I would rise up and get with you. So mm -hmm. that's how I feel about it. If, if, if somebody falls through the net of light, we can encourage them and enlighten them as much as possible, but it's up to them to get up to the net. That's right. Yes, thank you. I'm in. Thank you, Jess. Thank you. You're welcome. So do not worry yourselves. Do not worry yourselves about that. Just pray for those people and lift them up in your prayers. So that's all you can really do. Yeah. means no worries for the rest of your days. Ah, there you go. No worries. Oh, from the line. <laughs> All right. Does somebody want to say a prayer? I would just like to say how grateful I am that I have a place now to share my thoughts, feelings, desires, the true nature of our beings, and that we are every day just becoming just brighter gems, and we're all just showing new reflections every day, just poking Wonderful. holes, letting the light out of ourselves. It's just such a beautiful thing. Yes, you know, whenever you bring the light out to the edge of your being, that's peace, peace within you. But when you start moving that light into the community, that's enlightenment, because other people can see it, and other people can recognize what enlightenment is. They'll say, there is just something about that person. There's just something about them that I, I feel them. They're just great. You know what I mean? So you know when you become at peace with yourself, then push that out and help others be at peace with themselves as well. So And love and understand and be good. And find their enlightenment because that's where we're headed. And it just seems like every conversation, every hangout, every it just it, it every everyone reveals a whole new light within themselves, a whole new side of themselves that that they didn't see, we didn't see, and it, it's just a, such an amazing thing to watch and feel mm -hmm. and learning languages and and understanding that all the things that we always believed we were, we are. Yes, and my first, if I uh, make it to, as a host. My first topic will be galactic languages because they tie so much into our spirituality and um, I think that it's a really good topic for the first discussion. I love to join in in that. <laughs> yes. yes, me too. Yeah. Well, I will be picking colors and I will be interviewing people probably too. So. A, lot, a lot of fun. Huh? A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun, definitely. And you always make me laugh. <laughs> well, I'm, I, I'm a laugher. So. I do want to go, Jim, and I will say a quick prayer because no one wants to take the lead. So, dear God, dear energy, all the aliens, all of us, thank you for being here and sharing this moment of time. Thank you for helping us create our reality and rising our vibration every second while we breathe, while we walk, while we see what is around us. Please, uh, we realize that vibrations are neutral, either uh, if we live in the lower vibrations or in the higher vibrations, it is neutral. So we will choose to be objective, not to take sides, and we will choose just to take our highest excitement at the moment of our being, of our creating, of our life. So thank you everyone, stay in love, stay in the light, and be protective of your truth and your beliefs. Namaste. I love you. Oh, namaste. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you so much, Ellie. Namaste. Thank uh, you, guys. I'm, I'm going to turn off the... Say goodbye to everybody. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> We're going to stop the Bye -bye. broadcast now. Uh